Gonder, the Gossamer King, the God of Infection, the Parasite Sand, Stagnation, his alignment is chaotic evil. Domains include air, animal, chaos, destruction, evil, with subdomains including catastrophe, cloud, demon, fur, rage, and wind. His favorite weapon is the spear. Centers of worship include the Mogway Expanse, the Sodden Lands, and Varizia. His nationality is considered monster. His holy symbol is a mosquito in profile, and his other symbols associated with Glonder include a circular maze-like pattern. His sacred animal is the mosquito, and his sacred colors are light grays and red. Glonder's origin is unknown. Some believe he might be the corrupt spawn of an evil deity, and others that he's something that grew to sentience in the corpse of a slain god. Desna discovered his cocooned form in the ethereal plane. Curious about its pulsing contents, she opened the mass of fibers. The demigod immediately attacked her, but was shocked by the ferocity with which she defended herself, and managed to flee before she could destroy or imprison him. Desna hunts Glonder to this day in the hope of turning his power toward a less destructive end. In response, he sends his minions to infect and torment mortals, especially the followers of Desna. Glonder is depicted as a giant, monstrous mosquito who visits Gularion to feed on the heart-blood of his faiths truly devout. Glonder is associated with sturges, giant mosquitoes, fungoid creatures, and vampires. His vague, buzzing doctrine is that parasites and infection are necessary, lest the weak and old overrun the world. His cultists usually live in secluded communities and travel in secret, concealing their true devotion for fear of reprisal. Rather than destroy those communities that they infiltrate outright, the faithful of Glonder seek to spread corruption from within and subtly move the unknowing toward the worship of their god. Rather than cause such groups downfall immediately, the priests wish to subtly live off them as long as possible. If their true purpose is ever exposed, they seek to justify their existence in the normal order, arguing that infections and parasites help cull the weak from the herd. They call their god by mysterious names, the Gossamer King, the Dream Tender, or the Slumberer, and only in areas ravaged by disease do they make themselves known, preaching salvation from afflictions for the price of eternally worshipping their blood-drinking god. Members of Glonder's faith may be carriers of parasites or disease, but most experience few to no ill effects. Some disguise themselves as members of other churches, taking special pleasure in pretending to be from obscure branches of Desna's faith, and seed contagions or parasites in settlements to weed out those they consider unfit. Devoted druids and rangers, instead of forming special bonds with regular types of creatures, form bonds with vermin of all kinds, making it easier for them to affect the creatures with their magics. His priests have recently learned a form of monstrous cockroach found in Kasamarun, an eastern Avistan, known as the Kalashite Vermroach. They collect these mildly poisonous vermin, and release them to plague small cities, 
seeing it as a furtherance of their god's infectious will. A small cult of the Gossamer King is said to reside in the Corvosa town of Valdrain, hiding in an ancient Thessalonian ruin. There they breed a race of poisonous sturges, waiting to release them against those who do not follow their god. Another cult is said to exist in the village of Ravenmoor. Adventurers of this cult delve into strange monster lairs and seek out miasmic swamps in the hope of discovering and catching new diseases to share with others. After gaining and studying these new diseases, they often set out to spread them around Avastin and Garund. Many of the Gossamer King's secret temples hold an annual ritual in which they summon servants of the deity to drink the blood of priests, reaffirming their bond with the god. Clerics, druids, and rangers of Glander, upon first gaining the ability to cast divine spells, may choose to affect vermin instead of animals when using animal-oriented spells, such as animal shapes, detect animals or plants, and hide from animals. These spells can no longer be used to affect animals. Characters and rangers of Glander have an obvious affinity for the Summon Swarm spell, and can use it earlier than those who do not serve the Gossamer King. Hello everyone, I hope you weren't too off-put by the Gossamer King. Covering a god of pestilence and plague is not always the easiest sell, but he does have some interesting RP elements that could be employed. Up next is Grotus. Yes, I looked it up, that's how you say it. He's called the god of the end times. He's a very enigmatic god with, with possible ties to the dark tapestry, I'm sure. But, for the official ruling on it, come by next time. Back to Glonder. Leave in the comments below how you have seen him or his followers used in campaigns, or if they've spurred on any ideas for you. And as always, have a great day, God bless, and enjoy. This content was made possible by travelers and viewers like you. Thank you.